Mark Goddard, one of the best in the business, about to get this one underway. Three five-minute rounds if they need them in the Phoenix light heavyweight division. Pavel Dorofte in the white. Solo Cavallo in the black with grey trim. Do not be surprised if you see Pavel dive on a heel hook here. That's his speciality. Surely won't want to stand with this man for too long. He's obviously going to throw the heat. He needs to get on the inside. But when he does do, he's got to be wa watch out for the knees. Obviously, get the shoot box start. They like to clinch up and throw those heavy knees. So he, he's got to be careful here as well. He needs to get inside, but be careful. Slight height advantage here to Saulo Cavallari. Maybe just edging a reach as well. But just look at the potential power of Dorofti. And Dorofti rushes forward now. Really pulls his man up against the ropes here. Well, he actually had a grip around his man's upper body there, but he also caught the ropes and had to release, and that may just have brought Cavallari a moment's respite. Big knee to the body as Dorofte looks to trip his man to the mat. Nice short elbow on the inside there from the Brazilian. Like I said, Pavel did the right thing. He had to rush forward to close that distance, but with doing so, you got to be watch out for the, the, the clinch in the knees, you know? Like you say, Brad said, he, he got a good body lock, but unfortunately, he was tied around with the ring. Well, Cavallari, very comfortable in the upright, as you'd imagine, and he looks like he's just going to pick Dorofti off at distance. Dorofti has to make the, uh, uh, the, 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 the distance close, and he's got to sacrifice something to come in on the inside. Just how he's going to do it, I don't know, because Cavallari just looks so tight. But that's how he's going to do it. A big right hand over the top, rushes in there and closes the distance beautifully. So again, we're seeing that rush just behind a big shot. And Dorofti's got that off to a tee. Yeah, Dorofti's dropped a few guys like Bad Habits over the years. He really does have a lot of power in those single shots. Nice trick takedown. He's in his wheelhouse no, now. Let's see no. what he can do. Well, interestingly, Dorofti with the takedown there. And uh, just look at how he's looking for this heel hook that everybody's talking about. Can he put Cavallari in a submission position? Oh, great kick comes up there from Cavallari. Intense stuff here in the first round. Cavallari coming back with that heel strike to the face. The rough day looking to fall back on perhaps a straight ankle look or ideally a heel hook here. That's the submission! It's it's He's done it in the first round. Unbelievable. That's a long way to come for a short fight. Pavel Dorofti with that heel hook. He hung on and he hung on and he hung on and eventually Cavallari tucked. Unbelievable performance from Dorofti. Yeah, very, very impressive. Like you say, he had to close the gap and he did that with throwing his power shots. And then he got the straight footlock, I believe. It was a straight footlock here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a very good straight full lock here, you know. That, that could be very painful, especially if you don't know what you're doing too much. Absolutely, and, and perhaps that could be it, Brad. The fact that he's not been in these situations before. It's not like a heel hook where there's a danger of a serious knee injury. It's just a painful hold. Some guys can gut them out, but if you're facing that kind of attack for the first time, easier said than done. Well, all night long, I had both Brad's gesturing to me. Heel hook, heel hook, heel hook. He's known for it, and he's perfected it beautifully. That was a fantastic technique. And as I say, for Cavallari, it's a long way to come for a short fight. That was a big surprise. On paper, Cavallari looked like an absolute monster, a demon, a whirlwind of pain. But Dorofti, cool as a cucumber. Check that out. It's definitely David and Goliath right here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, after just two minutes, 21 seconds of the very first round, we have a winner by way of tap out to straight footlock, Pavel Sarotti. What a performance from Pavel Dorofte there. Beautiful straight ankle lock in the first round. We knew we had to watch his overhand right, we knew we had to watch those ankle locks, but I don't think any of us predicted how quickly he would dispose of Cavallari.